Uh, Dick Beige does makeup. He's been doing it for a while, and he is the best. And uh, it was sort of, yeah, we were picking up on the tones of the Mesa, you know, so there was like sort of a, a dusty prairie thing going on, but there were all these, um, I don't speak about makeup very well, but he did all these sort of highlights with almost like white, so they sort of look like this. And the girl girls that sort of, you know, the pajama party that walked out, uh, they had really bright red right in the inside of their lips that looked like they were bleeding, you know, which I thought was sort of <laughs> sick. It was, and again, very haunting, almost sinister. Yeah. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> I'm what's left of Dick Page, backstage at Band of Outsiders. And we, well, you we have an army in here, you can see. We're doing, uh, Scott has a sort of, kind of a Mesa stone background feeling to the collection. He was talking about being inspired by Mexico. So without trying to be too corny, we've warmed them up a little bit, so they're a little bit dusty and deserty, but not full shake and bake. It's not like, you know, Boston Market. They're bronze, they have gold and white highlights, depending on the skin tone of the girls. Made the eyebrows a little bit stronger. Put a little bit of white on the bow of the lip. It's it almost, I mean, the, around the eye area, it's almost like the feeling of when you take your sunglasses off and you've had a bit of a tan. But the bronze are sort of centered in the middle of the face. So it's got this, uh, it's kind of hard to describe when you see it in context on the runway. The problem with we do these things sometimes is you see everyone so close and you go like, I don't know what the hell that is. Okay. So then in the two parts of the women's collection, he has boy, girl, and girl, girl. And the only difference is the girl girl gets a little slash of red inside the lower lip, which looks a bit like a bloodied mouth. Very beautiful out there, I and mean, it sounds horrible, but it looks, it looks very cool. And it's just, you know, you, you're finding the girl to fit the story, to help the designers with their narrative. You know, so it's just that really. I, I like this kind of indistinct feeling about beauty. Because you can read an eyeliner from space or whatever else, and this just has something kind of discreet about it. I hate the expression glamping, but it's sort of that. It's kind of, you know, how you wish you looked when you were camping. working on our, our thing in the studio and then when it came time to put together the show and Dick Page showed up, we had, he had seen some of the same things that we had seen and, and we wanted to make the girls as uh, beautiful and as colorful and have them be as individual as possible without everyone having a very different makeup. And, yeah. uh, um, so you'll see a really interesting uh, chartreuse eye with some, a little bit of black and a red eye with a little bit of blue and three shades of, of lips, russet, dark, burgundy, and a butterscotch. So the lip is more neutral and the eye is more color? Well, the girls who have eyes don't have lips, and the girls who have lips don't have oh, eyes. Okay. So it's so really every girl has a different look. It's a li yeah, it's oh, a I little bit of a color blocking for the face. And it, is the lip or the eye chosen based on how much color is in the outfit? Uh, no, uh, no. It was more what looked right. So do you believe that like, if a girl is wearing a colorful coat and a colorful shoe, she can also have a colorful eye? Yeah. Okay, more is more. More is more. Well, I mean, it's the way that you do it. Um, backstage at um, Zero Maria Cornejo, uh, we're doing just one of those funny things where there's a kind of a bunch of different makeup going on. But the, I, the theory, the idea is it doesn't look too makeup at the end. It should look a little bit rough, a little bit either windburned or you know, frostbitten. So kind of a high colour in the cheek, which I'm doing with a lip colour and then blending it out with foundation. Just little white highlights around the eyes, a little soft tone of the lip. But really, the whole idea is that it doesn't look. There's nothing graphic. There's no like definite line on the eye. There's no mascara or anything like that. The whole idea is once they're in the clothes, they just look really kind of energized and strong. And there's a lot of pretty strong color, like fluorescence and stuff, in the collection. And there's some pretty heavy 
textured blacks that close out the show. So really, we wanted the faces just to look really kind of you know, alive and 